What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Alright, so this, we made easy work of this guy. His name is Will. Not that great of a replacement of Floralai. I mean, you suck, man. So, let's move on right here, and we're going to be going on against the next trainer of the Elite Four, and whoa, would you look at that. Trees, trees, where the heck? Uh, trees and grass. That can only mean one person right here. Oh, so we meet again. ha <laughs> ha! I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows of a ninja. My inst or my intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. <laughs> Pokemon is not merely about brute brute force. You shall soon see enough. All right, Koga. It would seem you don't remember me clearly, but I seem to remember kicking your butt in Pokemon Yellow. You know, sending him, you, you home back to your mama. So here we go, going up against Elite Four Koga, and he's coming out with his Ariados. Wow, this is a wow, big old spider mother lover. Wow. Oh dang. Okay, so moving on into the next screen right here. Here we have Elite Four Koga, not Gym Leader Koga anymore. He does have five Pokemon. He comes out with an Ariados right here, which is both a bug and poison type Pokemon. He comes out with Venomoth, also a bug type Pokemon and poison type Pokemon. And uh, Fortress, a bug and steel type Pokemon. And then after that, he comes out with Muck, a very, very defensive Pokemon. It's a poison type Pokemon. Crobat, both poison and flying. And that's pretty much it. Do just be aware of the toxic attack that it will inflict on you. Because if it hits you with toxic, every single turn will be worse and worse. It'll take a lot more HP. Do also be aware of the double, uh, double team attacks. Supersonics and minimize attacks because he is a very strategic Pokemon like he said right here All right going back into this screen right here. Let's go ahead and destroy this guy with some flame wheel That's right flame wheel How do you like it? Look at that flame wheel kicking your butt Finishing you off just like that flame wheel buy one And of course relics getting more experience points and uh, he's coming out with his Forger, so I'm going to stick by here with Cinder. He's just going to destroy everybody. That's just it. So, let's go with Flame Wheel again. Best way to beat a both a Bug-type and Steel-type Pokemon is through a Fire-type attack. And as you can see, mm-hmm, four times the damage. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Say goodbye to Fortress right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And here he's going to come out with his mug. So I got a Pokemon for you. Now remember, I did teach my Pokemon some certain moves that I found, you know, eventually along the way. Um, Teddy right here, I did teach him one good move. That's right. I taught him Earthquake. So here we go. Earthquake attack for the win. Hopefully for the win. I don't know. We shall see. Come on. Finish him off. And he does just that. Defeats Muck with one hit. There we go, Teddy. There we go. And he's going to come out with a Venomoth right here. So I'm going to be switching it up. Let's go back to uh, our good old buddy, Cinder. Because he's kicking some butt, right? He's kicking a lot of butt. So much. So much butt. All the butt in the world. That's right. All the butt in the world. Let's go with Fire Punch. Mm hmm Yeah. Fire Punch destroys you. Fire Punch does it. Goodbye, Venomoth. Hello, more experience points. And, uh, well, he's going to come out with his Crobat right here. So I'm going to go switch it up to the man of the hour. Let's go with Relic right here. This guy comes out with his Crobat. Now, this Pokemon likes to use Double Team a lot, so you better hit it quick or it will hit you back even worse. So here we go, Psychic Attack. Yeah doesn't feel so good huh does not feel good at all and there goes Crobat there's another victory for your badass host right here and more experience points for relic holy crud this guy's gaining points just like that he's like ah you have proven your worth yeah you said that to me before remember that I subjected you I subjected you everything I could muster but my efforts failed I must hone my skills Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Pretty sure he said that like when he was a junior, except for the next room stuff. 
Okay, so we defeated this guy. Next time in our next episode, we will be taking on Bruno, the Elite Four member right here. Um, it's going to be easy, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit. See you guys.